Hi, welcome, bienvenidos, it's your girl Yessi, and I'm back with another video. For today's video, I'm going to be playing with the Norvina Pro Pigment Palette in Volume 6. So, if you're excited <laughs> to see what I come up with, then please keep on watching. Alrighty, ladies and gents, today I'm going to be playing with the Norvina Pro Pigment Palette in Volume 6, which it's her newest release, and this is the outer packaging right here, so cute. Typically, I don't go for these big palettes anymore because, you know, I don't really go into color like that. But I don't know. I've been I've been inspired these past couple of weeks, months even, um, like pastels. And right now I'm loving the Natasha Denona pastel palette, so I bought it. And this retails for sixty dollars. And I actually got it from Sephora, and I was able to use my discount um, since you know it was the VIB sales going on so I was able to get a discount on it which is awesome who doesn't like that but anywho uh, so this is what the actual palette looks like right here same as the carton look how pretty that is and the inside looks like this now I have it upside down just because, you know, it has a huge mirror and I don't want to blind you. But this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. Um, I like how she included some neons, pastels, and then this dark color for anybody that likes to add, you know, dimension um, to their eye look. So I thought that was pretty neat. And then some of these eyeshadows in this row right here are actually glitters. So that's also pretty neat. The rest are all mattes, I believe. But this is a color story. Definitely giving me rainbow status over here. <laughs> rainbow vibes. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So why don't we just get started, right? Okay, so... First things first, I already did my eyebrows, filled them in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony. I also filled them in with the dual powder in the shade Ebony as well. This time, I didn't use my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre to conceal my lids. I actually used the Anastasia Eye Primer, which looks like this. I've actually heard really good reviews on this and I wanted to try it so I also snagged this up um, during the VIB sale. So I'm going to use it since I'm going to be going in with these bright colors. Um, and I'm not sure, sure what colors I'm going to be using. <sighs> but I think I want to do purple and orange maybe. Yeah. Let's do part purple and orange. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to grab a blending brush. This is the Luxie 229 Tapered Blending. As you can see, a nice, small, fluffy brush. And I am going to go in with the color C1, which is this color right here. And I'm going to use that color. Actually, before we start, I really want this cat eye effect. So I'm actually going to use tape. So I'm going to cut two pieces of tape. Put them in the back of my hand. And then I'm going to align them from the outer part of my eye to my eyebrow. I 
Okay. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go in again with the shade C1 right here, which is this lavender purple. And I'm gonna apply that to my crease. Okay, so I'm happy with that color. Now I'm going to go in with the color C5, which is this purple right here. And I'm going to apply that to my outer um, crease right here. And then I'm going to bring it in all the way to the inner part. So that's what the color should be looking like. Now I'm going to go in with the blending brush where we use that lavender color and just go over the edges. Okay, so this is what I have going on so far. What I'm going to do now is I am going to cut my crease. So I'm just going to get a little bit of my concealer. Um, I'm going to grab... Yeah, my concealer so I'm gonna grab my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand now I'm gonna go in with um, my brush and I'm just gonna place some I'm not a pro at cutting crease so a trick that I've seen people do is they'll apply it to their to their lash line they'll look up Hold on. And then they look up and around. And, and then wherever, I think I need more, but they'll apply it to the uh, lash line and then they'll look up, look from side to side. And wherever that line is, is where you're going to um, cut your crease. So I need an. I need a mirror so I can get up close and personal. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. Um, this is the Luxie 223 Short Shader. And just with the tip, I'm going to go into that uh, purple color. And make sure that that line is prominent that purple line so like that I'm gonna do the same to the other eye all right now I'm gonna go in with that small shader brush again with no additional product I'm just gonna go over that purple and create a little line so we don't lose it and that purple's prominent All right, now I'm going to go in with the Morphe M433 and I am just going to apply a little bit of that purple so we can help blend the concealer with the with this purple color. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of that lavender color and I'm just going to apply it lightly to this part right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to go in with this, this color right here. It's called, it's not called, <laughs> it's D1, which is this orange peach color right here. And I'm going to apply that color to this empty part of the lid. Hoo-wee. So I'm actually going to grab my smaller brush. That way I know what I'm doing. These two colors are so pretty. So pretty. With no additional product, I'm just going over that orange with the purple color just to help it blend a little bit more. Maybe I'll go in with the pink color 
or periwinkle color to help those two colors blend a little bit better. But I don't want to lose it up here in my crease either. I want that transition. Now I'm going to go in with the blending brush. We use that purple to try and blend it with the orange. Now I'm going to go in with the pink. Grab a little bit more. I'm also going with that purple again. And I'm going to make sure to draw that purple line here because I feel like I lost the color a little bit. So you can see it's cut. <laughs> so yeah, that's my little trick. <laughs> Sis, if it looks any way crooked to you, just tilt your eye okay <laughs> just just tilt a little bit <laughs> but this I don't want to mess with it too much because then I'm gonna start you know creating a mess out of it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a liner apply lashes finish the complexion and then I'll come back to show you the final result <laughs> so I'll be right back and I'm back so this is the final look. What do you guys think? I love it. <laughs> I love the color combination that I came up with. There's something about this purple and orange that I don't know. I'm vibing with it though. Um, this palette, I mean, what can I say? I like it just as much as my other eyeshadow palettes. Um, this is different to my collection. I really don't have a lot of color, and um, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get it. But <clears throat> I can definitely see myself using this um, on a more toned down level. Because um, this is not something that I wear often unless I'm actually like playing with makeup. But you know or I'm filming a video for YouTube so I can definitely see myself um, doing a lot more color combinations um, so I do enjoy this palette and like I've mentioned before I have been enjoying um, some color <clears throat> like right now I'm um, enjoying the Natasha Denona pastel palette um, so yeah I would definitely recommend this if you don't have you know anything like this it's good to have just for like you know the springtime or the summertime you can use like these pops of color and you know recently that's all I've seen is like pops of color which I think it's a thing now <laughs> so I mean you know it's your money you spend it however you want to but I do recommend it um they're very pigmented they are pigments um, and yeah, I'm actually going to go on a no buy because I've been buying so many eyeshadow palettes and I actually want to show you guys more looks because all these eyeshadow palettes, um, have infinite, well, not all palettes, but most palettes you can combine with others like the pastel palette. You don't have to do a look with all pastels if that's not your thing. You can definitely incorporate it with like neutrals and stuff like that. So same thing with this one. You could incorporate it with a neutral palette and then use one of these colors as a pop of color. Maybe um, in, the in the bottom lash line or in the inner corner or in like this part of the, your your eye to make a pop like there's different ways that you can incorporate color so I'm excited to try different looks with this palette with my other palettes so yeah um, again I bought this um, during the Sephora VIB sale um, it retails for $60 and yeah I enjoyed it um, I hope you enjoyed today's look and I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, and I'll catch you on the next one.